Uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, so today we will see uh, project budget planning. Uh, I hope my screen is visible. Uh, is it is it visible? Okay. Uh, so w what's project budget? Um, and how can we plan it or create the uh, final, ma mainly financial for uh, uh, completing a project? Uh, it's not just cost estimation or breaking down uh, the uh, cost for the uh, for the project. Rather, it's a detailed plan that uh, we need to develop, right? So uh, we will we will introduce what a project project is uh, project budget is uh, its importance uh, and finally we will see the steps for creating project budget right so a project budget uh, it's a detailed time phased estimate of all the resources uh, resource costs for a project right uh, it's a total amount of money. Uh, allocated for uh, that project from uh, the beginning up to the end, right? It, it, it includes lots of costs uh, that are needed for different activities, for levers, uh, materials, equipments, uh, and other expenses necessary to complete the, the project, right? Uh, it, it, it depends on the project. Um, also, you need to include uh, uh, a backup. Uh, also, so uh, that that that's what a project budget is. It's a total amount of money allocated for uh, a project that we are going to uh, work on, right? Uh, why why do we need to create a project budget? The, the obvious answer is we need money for for the project and for that we need um a fund right so to get that fund we need to uh, write or build a project budget uh and it's very important to write this plan uh, clearly and uh, logically Right, so uh, one can plan and collect resources in a way that reduces the risk of financial barriers. Right, the 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 financial breakdown has to be logical. Uh, if it's not, at one point we might be um, facing with some financial issues. Right, so to alleviate those problems, we need to. Uh, strategize uh, uh, our project budget, right? So it's important. It 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 needs clear plan, right? So by creating a project budget, uh, you can plan and collect resources in a way that allows the project to execute without any fi financial barriers, um, and it helps break down the cost of for uh, the cost for different parts of the project. Uh, so that's one important uh, concept. And the other is <clears throat> it identifies issues. Uh, th that means a project budget will help you highlight the potential costs and problem areas in advance, enabling you to address them before they, they uh, escalate, right? Uh, and lastly, it's for transparency, right? If you, if you don't have uh, a clearly outlined project budget, the, the stakeholders might not give you the fund you need, right? So uh, having a clear and realistic project budget is uh, important to gain support from the decision makers and stakeholders. Uh, so if you can show that you have the, a thoughtful budget, uh, then uh, you can get uh, the, the the fund basically, and it has to be uh, feasible within the, the the budget. 
uh, you can increase your chance of successful driving the project and uh, likely uh, hood of uh, successful project completion, right? So that's that's why we need um, a project uh, budget plan. Um, these are the, the the most important steps that we need to follow when we create a, a project budget. Um, it, it's not it's not just as I said it's not just a financial breakdown, right? It, it's a project management. It's a project plan. It's part of the the, the whole project plan. Uh, so the, the first thing we need to do is we need to set uh, project objectives because all the uh, activities and tasks, resources uh, will be derived from the, the, the objectives or the, the deliverables for, for that project. So the first and foremost, you need to ensure that uh, you plan to achieve at the end of the project that is your purpose and goals. Um, uh, that's a, a good place to start because they they will help you understand where work is uh, headed and act as um, a guidance while you um, polish or uh, develop your project plan as a whole, right? Uh, the, the second one is it's, it's a scope you need to define its scope uh, because everything depends on time, uh, everything depends on um, resources. So uh, ahead of time, you, you must define your uh, project scope. Uh, so the once you have set your objectives, you can determine the scope of uh, work you will need to achieve those goals. And your uh, Project scope sets boundaries for your project, uh, such as what work will you do or not do, and that uh, deadlines and deliverables you are uh, working towards. Right. So this this is the second step. You you must have a scope for that project. And uh, the third one is uh, that that's actually the. The, the where the budgeting starts uh, because you need to break down the project into smaller parts uh, which means those costs will be estimated based on those smaller tasks because sometimes uh, it, it it might be difficult to uh, estimate the overall project at once right so you need to divide uh, the project into smaller uh, manageable tasks and subtasks or deliverables and some uh, dependencies. Uh, and each task should be or subtask should be detailed enough to estimate the cost um, accurately or it, it has to be a, a good estimate uh, closer to the uh, what, what, what what what's needed right so the the breakdown of the project into smaller parts will help you to uh, estimate uh, the cost of the project as a whole right and uh, the fourth one is you need to uh, list required resources not only uh, dividing the the project into smaller tasks uh, you need also to list resources uh, needed for each task or for each subtask. Right? Um, once you, you you do that, the the next step uh, would be uh, estimating the amount. Estimating the amount. So to estimate the amount, we we need to estimate uh, the amount or the cost for the the smaller tasks, and then we 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 sum up. Uh, those amounts to uh, uh, to have the, the the whole cost for the, the project, right? So yeah, the, it, ultimately it, the the project budget is uh, the estimate of cost, right? But to to estimate that cost, as I said, uh, we need to define our objectives clearly uh, and define the scope, and then divide the 
the project into smaller tasks. And then uh, we also need to list uh, the resources required for uh, the different tasks, right? Uh, after that, we can estimate the, the, the cost. Um, even though it's, it's difficult to predict the future, uh, there is a few methods to help you make the most accurate estimate possible uh, using different approaches. And you don't have to uh, stick to just one. Uh, you can uh, experiment or combine those uh, estimation methods to uh, estimate the, the, the project cost, right? So the common methods uh, of breakdown the project and the cost estimates are actually for uh, the top-down, bottom-up analogous estimation. And there is one more, that's parametric estimation. Uh, I have attached uh, or sent you on the, the chat uh, two um, documents that you can read. And the, the first one uh, explains what parametric estimation is. Um, so the, the, the top-down, uh, as you can understand it easily, it starts from uh, the overall in the goal of the project, and then work your way down to the smaller parts, <clears throat> which means you divide the project into a smaller and smaller activities, uh, well-defined parts until a sub activities are at a level where you can estimate the resources required and the the, the cost for for that uh, sub activity, right? That's the top down. Uh, the the bottom up. Uh, that's uh, you start from the 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 lower level. That means the various activities or uh, that costs, and you work your way up uh, to get the overall estimate. Uh, those activities are then summed up to provide uh, the whole picture of the project. And the other approach is analogous estimation. Uh, this is applicable if you have done uh, a project previously, right? So from, uh, from the previous project experience, uh, you can try to estimate the, the project cost analogously. Uh, so yeah it's just it it, it needs um uh, an expert uh, and experience to use uh, this estimation so you base your estimate on the previous experience and projects as a starting point uh, which you can then adjust according to the current project so these are uh, the the, um, the methods that you can use uh, to estimate the cost for each uh, task or uh, resource. I hope that's clear. Um, uh, are there any questions? Is it clear? Am I audible? Hello? Oh, OK. Um, yeah, uh, the, the next step is uh as i said uh, you need a contingency fund uh sometimes things happen uh unexpected things can happen right tools might break schedules change um yeah so in 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 that case uh you need a backup fund or a contingency fund to uh, allocate or to um replace the damage or the unexpected uh changes uh or you might uncover unexpected opportunity during your project like the chance to purchase a business asset at uh, a reduced cost uh etc uh, so contingency reserve uh, gives you uh extra padding for your plan so typically recommend it's recommended to set aside five to 10% of your total budget for a backup, right? That, that's that's uh, a recommendation. So we need to set uh, a contingency fund. Uh, and then 
you need to build your budget. Those are the, the above ones are about the cost estimation and dividing the tasks into smaller pieces and getting the the amount you need for the project. So once you have listed the uh, different tasks, resources, and estimate for each uh, elements, uh, the, the next is to actually create the budget document, right? So to do that, uh, you must include or have to include uh, some of the following. Uh, the first one is line items for each deliverable, sub-deliverable, and required resources, uh, plus the expected cost of each, which means you have to document all the activities uh, we have seen above, right? And you have to also uh, timeline the, the, the project, which means a timeline of when you will need each resources and when you expect to spend the funds. It's not just uh, assigning the amount. We have to also include the, the when or the timeline uh, for each task. Uh, and then uh, you have to assign a responsible uh, person for each budget component. Uh, for example, you might not uh, you, that the assistant in the, uh, editor is responsible for tracking the freelancer hours and invoices, right? Um, uh, as I said in the, the stand-up, uh, the different tasks needs a different responsible team, right? And those responsible teams will handle uh, a specific uh, component of the budget, right? So you have to allocate personnel for each task. Um, the other is uh, you need to clearly document uh, which part of the company budget you will pull from uh, for each uh, for each uh, item or for each task. Um, example, you may use the marketing department budget to create videos, ads, and IT department budget for computer upgrades, etc. Right, and then the total uh, of the expenditures for the entire project. You have to calculate uh, and present that uh, amount. Uh, if applicable, uh, you you need to include individual totals for each department budget. Uh, you will be using for for the different departments in the project. Um, the other is a place to track actual costs uh, versus the budgeted cost once you start the project, right? You, 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 need, uh, um, uh, you need to monitor, right? Well, what was the budget cost and what's the actual cost at each step of the, the project? And, um, Last but not least, you need to get approval from the stakeholders, right? Once you build your uh, project budget, uh, now it's time for you to uh, share it with the stakeholders or the decision makers in the company, right? So um, if you have a detailed plan you have made, uh, you should, uh, you, you, you will, get the fund you, you, because you have uh, a clear and logical budget. So you, you will have that. If the above or the uh, project budget uh, is unrealistic or not logical, uh, you might fail. So the last, I mean, the, the last, not the last, but uh, yeah, you, you need to get approval from uh, from the stakeholders. Um, and lastly, you need monitoring system. That means uh, your budget is only as good as uh, you stick to it. That means you need to plan in advance how often you will keep tabs on the actual cost versus the budgeted cost. Because if something happens, um, uh, you, you need to intervene. Uh, you can mitigate potential issues before they 
I get too big, right? You can also decide up front what you will do if you go over or under the budget. So you uh, need to make uh, a plan for monitoring the spins. Um, yeah, that, that's, that's what project budget planning is. Uh, are there any questions? Is it clear? Yeah, if you guys can't speak, you can uh, ask it on the chat. I know most of you are at work, so yeah. Okay, little file, thank you. Um, Ah, go, go on if you're not, if you now ask. Okay, thank you so much for the insightful section. I would love to ask if it's possible to get a template, like a template where we can say, okay, let's walk by this rule. Because we have so much written words and it's cumbersome kind of, even though um, we look on it so much. So. I don't know if it's possible. Okay, that, that's good. Uh, I have already sent you on the chat. You can see there are uh, some templates that you can use. This work breakdown structure, that's breaking down the, the project into smaller tasks. Uh, as you can see here, task one, task two, task three, etc. cetera. And, um, uh these are the tasks the estimation hours estimated costs you can you can use those um you can use spreadsheet or even trello you have done trello right and uh here there are the the, the steps that we uh discussed here they there are seven here but we make it eight it's fine uh, yeah, so it starts by defining the project scope and the client requirements, uh, and it, it goes on. And in each of the sections, they, they put an, an example. Uh, you can read this one, and you will get all the information you need. Uh, for the uh, parametric estimation, uh, I, I believe this document is good. Um, uh, as we said, we, we can use analogous estimate. That means starting from a similar previous uh, project and you can uh, adjust the costs according to your new project. And this is the uh, bottom-up estimate, uh, parametric estimate, and the three-point estimate. So uh, each one is explained and uh, examples are here. Um, yeah. You, you you can google and you can find tons of templates for uh project budget uh planning or for the uh cost breakdown i hope that's clear uh oh sorry i said yes it is clear thank you so much Oh, good. Um, so still, oh, I already shared it um, because you joined late, maybe. I'm going to copy paste it again. All right. Um, any questions or clarifications that I need to explain again? Yeah, you just need to follow the, the steps. Uh, to summarize, we start with the objective of the project. And for that, you can use the, the SMART method. Uh, I think we have discussed this one uh, previously. Uh, it has to be specific, measurable, attainable, and um, time-bound, right? The, the SMART uh, method for uh, a project uh, plan, right? Uh, once you have that, you need to uh, set a scope uh, because resources are limited, time is also limited. 
we have to put our scopes. Uh, once we do that, uh, we will uh, break down the project into smaller tasks or subtasks or deliverables. And then uh, for each subtask, uh, you estimate the cost, right? And that whole summation will give you the overall uh, project budget. Uh, once you have done that, you need actually to create the, the budget uh, for the project. And for that, you can uh, follow those that I mentioned earlier. And you also need a contingency. Uh, once you have all that, then you can uh, present it for approval from the stakeholders. And then you will need to plan a, a monitoring system for the spends that you are spending uh, uh, during the, the project. And if something happens, you, you need to use your backup and mitigate that uh, problem. All right. Um, if you have any questions, please ask. Otherwise, we can stop here. Any question? Is it clear? Hello? Okay. Um, yeah, then I will I will share the document on Google Drive. Yeah. All right, bye. Have a good day.